prior researching about this vehicle, I would have assumed that blasting the driver with infrared radiation was a flaw, not a selling point of a vehicle. Yet the Lexus RZ450E has changed my view on that. It is good to be blasted with radiation from your vehicle. We're gonna talk about that and more. Guys, I'm Jake, you're watching Gas Guzzlers, and this is the 2023 Lexus RZ450E. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the exterior of the RZ450E. You'll notice the iconic Lexus spindle grille is gone. It has been replaced with what Lexus is calling a spindle body. Now, the reason that is, is because you don't need a grill anymore, right? You only need to feed some big engine with air. The amount of air you need for an electric vehicle compared to an ICE vehicle is much much smaller so for aerodynamic purposes this is all sealed off and it's nicely integrated with all of your led lighting here some interesting features up here this hood is completely sealed and you're using acoustic glass electric vehicles are very quiet no no engine noise and that means road noise you can hear that a lot more noise normally covered up by the engine now comes into the cabin so lexus worked extra hard to make the interior of this vehicle extra quiet if you open up that sealed hood you're gonna find that there is no frunk. Now, I used to think that was a bad thing, but then I spoke to some engineers who said that by putting all the stuff in the frunk, that that coolant, that, you know, whatever, systems, HVAC, et cetera, that normally would be placed kind of in the dashboard area can now be moved here where the combustion engine used to be, and that opens up more room in the interior. So no frunk. I actually quite like a frunk because I like to throw my smelly exercise gear, whether I'm running, skiing, et cetera, in a drainable kind of separate locked area. However, for a lot of you, I think that you may find you prefer this layout. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is no frunk a deal breaker for you? At the side of the Lexus RZ450, E, it definitely has some RX inspiration to it, especially you look at that rear quarter right there. An interesting feature is the peaked roof. Um, Lexus peaked the roof before going into that aggressive slope at the rear to give the rear occupants more headroom. These rims were quite interesting to me. Normally electric rims kind of are ugly, look like dinner plates are all covered up because they're trying to reduce aerodynamic drag and turbulence, which spokes like that can create. Um, having that turbulence is going to decrease the range of the vehicle. So it's interesting that Lexus kind of went for some interesting traditional looking rims here. It's pretty rare to see on electric vehicles. One thing not too rare to see on electric vehicles is an electronic door latch. This is not a physical handle. It is a button that operates an electronic switch. Now, automakers are doing this because it's actually a safety feature. By implementing this, they can lock the doors from the inside so you can't open it. And the reason that's useful is if the vehicle detects that someone is coming through your blind spot, it can prevent you from getting out. And that means that you won't open the door and get hit by the car coming behind you. So that is a great safety feature. Anytime you're not getting killed, that's a safety feature that we really like to see. Now, this vehicle has separate motors at the front and rear axle. It actually has integrated E-axles, which are complex pieces of equipment that combine motors, gearing, et cetera, all into a single unit. And it can distribute the power any way it wants between those two motors, right? That's a great thing about these electric drive systems, much easier to distribute torque than a traditional mechanical connection. So it can send all of the power to the front or rear. It usually is operating in a 60-40 or 40-60 configuration. But for example, if you're turning the wheel, the car can send more power to the front wheels if you're making a turn to get more grip there. Or if it notices that you're exiting a corner, it's going to send more power to the rear wheels to improve the overall performance. At the rear of the electric Lexus RZ450E, we of course have a power tailgate. But before we open that, I do want to show you, I really like these spikes coming off the back. Kind of gives me Batman vibes. Let me know what you think of the looks of this vehicle in the comments below. Now, let's open up the tailgate and of course, power opening as you would expect to see. Looking in the rear here, no official word yet on trunk size, but it looks to be large enough. You got a little cubby here. You can store some cables in. It's actually pretty deep, maybe about my forearm's length. Um, and then you have a shoulder button that you can use to push down that second row, nice and easy. I would like to see maybe a few more power outlets or something back here before the full kind of production run. But other than that, I don't think anyone's gonna have an issue with this cargo space. Let's talk powertrain. This vehicle uses a skateboard architecture like most electric vehicles. It has a 150 kilowatt motor in the front, it has an 80 kilowatt motor in the rear. And then under the floor, there is a 71.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's gonna give you around 225 miles of range, but you get a few miles less than that if you get the larger 20 inch wheels. Let's talk charging. 10 to 80% happens in around 30 minutes. That's good, but a lot of other brands are beating that. 
I am in a Lexus LC500, and you probably are not. That makes me a better person than you right now. If you want to be a better person, i.e. someone who's sitting in a Lexus LC500, one of the most beautiful cars ever made, be sure to stop by the DC Auto Show. If the 2023 show has passed, then get ready for 2024. The 2024 show is going to be even bigger and better, and you, too, can come sit in your favorite high-performance vehicles. Also, everyone, if you're liking the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more weekly automotive content. All right, folks, let's get back into it after I pretend I'm a race car driver for a little bit. Now, I mentioned that this car blasts you with radiation and was well, a little bit of thumbnail clickbait, but actually not really. This vehicle uses a technology called radiant heating. It uses infrared technology to heat up your knees with infrared radiation. And by doing that, they are only heating up area, physical surface areas rather than just heating up air, um, which doesn't exactly help as much as heating up your knees themselves. That is a really neat feature. Lexus says it's about 8% more efficient than traditional traditional heating methods. This vehicle also is not very traditional when it comes to the steering wheel. It uses a steer by wire system. This does not have a physical linkage to the wheels. You are having feedback communicated to you back through an electric motor. Now the benefit of that is the vehicle can adjust the steering in real time as you're driving around. So when you're in a performance mode, you know, the steering can be a bit tighter than a comfort mode. And also again, because you have a yoke here, um, you have a yoke, not a traditional steering wheel. So you can't really go hand over hand over hand it can adjust the ratio as you go through the turn. So you turn at a 90 degree angle, those last 10 degrees can make a much tighter turn than the first 10 degrees of your turn in the steering wheel. Real neat feature there. The cockpit is all angled towards the driver, a very driver centric vehicle here. I'm excited to check out this new Lexus infotainment system when we get our hands on some Lexus layer this year. Of course, you have all the features you'd expect, wireless charging, cup holders with fancy nubs here. And let's see, one of my favorite features of Lexus's is the fact that you can open the center console from either side it's probably a lot easier to just hinge it from the back but this is a lot cooler in the rear of the lexus rz 450 we have heated outboard seats and the middle passenger isn't going to be too unhappy because they don't have too big of a hump in the middle of the floor like many cars do because this is an electric vehicle no drive shafts or transmission or anything like that down there now here you have your two cup holders with nubs in the pull out armrest and you have a nice synthetic material covering the interior of this vehicle a lot of electric vehicles stray away from leather because they're concerned about the environmental impact other nice features, air vents. I mentioned the heated outboard seats. You have two USB-AC ports down here and a full size power outlet. Additionally, you have this big giant glass roof. Those always help to light up the interiors. I'm also just starting to notice these seats, I think are actually gonna be pretty comfy if you sit in them for a long time. Hopefully we get to take one of these out for a long test drive later this year. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Let's talk advanced safety features. The Lexus RZ450E is going to come with Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0. That's gonna include a whole array of features, some of which include dynamic radar cruise control, lane trace assist, lane keep assist, and of course you have features like your blind spot monitor. This vehicle also comes with advanced park assist, so it'll help park itself. Lots of advanced driver assist technologies on this vehicle. After this walk around, I'm really interested to see where Lexus takes this RZ450E. It is a real neat vehicle. I really like the interior of it, and I think the exterior styling is pretty unique. So definitely be sure to come check it out at the DC Auto Show. If the 2023 show has passed, get ready for 2024, folks. It's going to be a great show. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in next week's video.